All right, welcome everybody. We're gonna be doing Tai Chi uh, week number two. Um, today we're gonna do hold the ball, uh, part the wild horse's mane and the single whip. Uh, so today we're gonna be focusing first on the single whip. We're gonna start with Tai Chi warm ups. Let's go ahead and just rotate the wrists. Get ready here. Start rotating those wrists. And other direction. Good, try rotating your ankles. See if you can balance as well. Work your balance a little bit. And other direction. Excellent, other side. And other direction. So you wanna get used to these warm ups. We're not always gonna start the class with warm ups. We might start with, with yoga here eventually, um, side to side. So kind of get used to these warm ups and do them in your own practice. You can always watch these videos uh, at the start of them for the warm ups as well. It's all the same, I'm sticking with the same warm up, doing some hip circles. And it's a great little warm up too for anything. Other direction. Good, and then we're gonna twist. Sometimes they call this ring the gong. One thing you might do is give yourself a little tap here on the back of the kidneys. Don't go too hard, but just kind of wake them up a little bit. Remember to let your body move your arms. Move your head in the direction you're going. Look in the direction you're going. Good, we're really gonna work these today, so keep going, a couple more. Good, and then we got side to side, swinging those arms. You can go side to side with the feet, but I like to get that bend in the, in the elbows. And then we're gonna inhale, reach up, let it all go. It's just a full body warm up. It doesn't matter what you call it. In fitness, they like to call things Pilates, yoga, Tai Chi. It's really all the same in the end. This is a squat with the arms coming down. A couple more, just keep warming up. Excellent. Then we're gonna go forward, just rocking the foot forward. This, this time we're gonna reach forward, go up to the ball of the feet and then back. Up to the ball of the feet and back. Inhale, exhale. So showing you from the side. And it's good to move fast on these warm ups to kind of get yourself warmed up. But at the same time, you could slow them down and get into them more. So I'm, for the sake of teaching you, you know, we could do this all, the, this warm up for five minutes and, and only do 12 reps if we wanted to. But for the sake of teaching you, I'll 
kind of speed it up a little bit and also get you warmed up even more. But, you know, in your own practice, you can really take these warm ups and slow them down, get into them more, do them however you want to. Good, let's try the other side. So here we go, we're gonna lean into it, reach and come down. So start a little faster and then we'll slow it down. Try slowing it more. You'll notice that when you slow it down, you get into yourself a little more. Excellent. All right, so the next warm up is just some hamstring curls. Good. And so that's kind of the basic warm ups. Now we warm up with some of the movements that we're going to be learning. So let's start with uh, holding the ball, just kind of going side to side. So one thing you might think about is this is almost like a cat stance coming to the side. So you have 10% of your weight on this foot, 90% on that foot. Think of it that way. You don't have to do the arms. You can start with the feet and then start adding. Good. And then step with your foot here, if your right foot, and just come out with your hand. This is the whip that I was telling you about. So you're going to whip. Good. And then we're going to part the horse's mane. So start here and just go out. Practice this a few times. So this is going to be your left hand up, right hand down. Step about 45 degrees. Come down and out. Notice I bring the thumb in. You don't want your thumb hanging out and get it broken off. If you're, if you're fighting somebody. So just practice that. Like I said, we're just going to practice the moves we learn and warm up with them a little bit. We're not going to be precise, just feel the motions, just get the motions down. This is that whipping motion. This one's hammering down. We'll talk more about that here in a second. So this one's kind of coming out. Notice that it's coming from this side of the body. This one's coming from up here. And you put them together. All right, let's try the other side. So here we go. We're going to remember that cat stance. Right hand up, left hand down. It's like an outward block or and, a, and like a hammer here. And just keep working that as a warm up. Like I said, you could do it fast and get your body more warmed up, or you can do it slow and get your brain more warmed up, I suppose you could say. Because you definitely get more into your mind and yourself, letting go of your mind, really relaxing. So you can see, you really repeat those, those motions. It's actually just all one circle. If you think about it, wax on, wax off, wax on, wax off. 
And I encourage you to warm up and do those however you feel comfortable. Okay. So we're going to go on to the, the uh, well, let's got, let's do one more, a couple more warm ups. I like to end with the wall of water. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Good, and then just kind of shake it out. Okay, so one more thing I want to talk about is just kind of basic uh, movements of the martial arts. One thing my instructor, uh, Skip Hancock for, with Kempo Karate created was the three uh, master key movements, which Ed Parker of the main guy of Kempo Karate uh, thought, always thought it was more just one master key of uppercut and it always turns into all these other movements. Not so true, that's kind of more grafting where you turn one movement into another. Um, what my instructor figured out, which is pretty amazing to have lived through and created uh, during these times, is that each movement is kind of fashioned by where your hands are at at the time. And I'm just talking about hand movements right now. But basically, if your hands are up here, it creates more of a hammering type motion. That's kind of like this motion here on parting the, the uh, horse's mane. If your hand is across the body, then it fashions a certain type of motion, an outward type of motion. And it's more of a whipping type of motion. So a block can be whipped out just like so. Uh, that would be similar to parting the horse's mane coming this way. So I'm trying to break it down and make it simpler for you. Think of it as hammering. If your hands are up here, whipping, if your hands are out here, and you want to feel those motions and get used to them being the same. And then the last one is thrusting. That's when your hands start at your hips. Very uncommon that you have your hands here on the hips. And in Tai Chi, they don't have a lot of thrusting motions, but they do have a punch here or there uh, in the form, in the main form. Not in the eight form, so it's probably not so well, there's some, like you graph to a thrust here for the whip, for instance, which is what we're going to do today. Okay, so I just want to point out that, that those are the main kind of motions that you're always working with. And you, you want to start to see them and notice that you're actually doing the same thing almost all the time. As Ed Parker used to always say, Sam Ting. This guy comes off of a, a flight and Ed Parker says, well, my name is this, and he says, what's your name? And he says, Sam Ting. Well, his name was Sam Ting, but at the same time, he's saying that it is all the same thing, okay? So the only other motion is if your arm is long, and it's if you're already whipped, then you're lifting or doing something after that, okay? So today, what we're going to do is the single whip. So let's start with the form. I'm going to teach you the form, and then we'll, then we'll go back to the other forms that we practiced, and then we'll put them all together. All right? So you want to step out first with your left foot. I'm going to be mirroring you. You're going to inhale and exhale. Good. And then you come over to your right side. The right hand comes up on top, the left hand comes underneath, all right? And then what you're gonna do is just make kind of like a hook here and you, you basically come out with that hand and you're gonna, you're gonna push out with this one. No, I got that wrong, hold on a second. So we're gonna start here. We're gonna hook with this hand and we're gonna push out with this hand. Sorry, I'm just trying to mirror you so it gets a little confusing. So let's try that uh, from the start. You step out with the left foot. Inhale, reach up. And exhale. And then the right hand is up, left hand's underneath. Create a little hook here. 
You're gonna step out completely to the side and this toe faces that way. You're gonna do a push here and then this extends out as that hook. Then from there, remember to rock back, turn the foot in, and then you come to the other side of holding the ball. Then we're just gonna step out. Remember to create that hook. That comes out forward here. This kind of whips out and turns into a thrust more or less, uh, pushing out this way. And then from there, you just bring the feet, rock back, turn in, bring the left leg in as you come here, and then out with the hands, and then down. So that's the form. Let's go ahead and just repeat it a few times. I'll even turn and face this way and do it with you a few times as well. So let's go ahead and step out with the left leg. Inhale, reach up. And exhale. Come to this side here. Right hand, right side. And we're going to step out. I hope I got that right there. And then come to this side. Just getting a little confused, Miriam, but I think I got this. And remember to hook. And push. Good. And then shift your weight. Come together. And here. And down. Good. Now, there is some rocking that goes on, and it could be even, even be more like forward and then back. And, and just remember that, that sometimes I'll leave that out just to stick with the basics. But you do want to rock back to get that weight off the foot and then turn the foot on a lot of these movements. All right, so let's keep repeating it. Step out, inhale. I don't know about you, but I'm getting more confident too. Step to the side, one hand up, one hand underneath. Good. Step out. Get that stance right. So you want it just wide enough to where the knee's over the ankle. Here's your hook, comes out, and then the push. And then you got to rock back, shift the weight in, over the top. And then we step out. Here's your hook or the whip, and I like that. I think this is more of a whip, but we're gonna whip it out, bam. All right, rock back, come in, and then come the feet together, out with the hands, and down. So that's the form, um, single whip. Let's go ahead and repeat some of the forms that we've done uh, already. So we're gonna start with holding the ball. We've got three forms so far, holding the ball, parting the horse, wild horse's mane, and single whip. So let's do holding the ball. Remember, they all open the same way. You're going to step out with the left foot. Inhale, reach up. And exhale. And then you come to this side here. And then the other side. And then one more time. And then you step out. And then open up. And down. And actually come feet together there. Sorry. So let's try it again. Step out. Inhale. Exhale. Now, this is almost like it's the start position here. You see? So just like all the others, this is the beginning. That's why there's three of them. So you step to the side. And then the other side. And then you step out. And you finish the form. Feet together at the end. 
So it's all subconscious a lot of times. After a while, it just starts to sink in. Um, so don't be worried if you can't. Oh, man, I forgot. Uh, just keep practicing. So let's move on to uh, the part of the horse's mane. So here we go. We're going to inhale, step. This is the form, remember. Inhale, step out. And exhale. So you come to your set position here. And then you step out. Part the wild horses me. And then holding the ball, you're going to rock back, come in, and come in, holding the ball. Step out. It's about a 45 degree angle to step out. Remember, you kind of brush the wrist here almost. And then you step up to that position, the last, the last one, and then you step out. I'm not quite sure about these closings. I'll have to look at them again. And out this way and down. Good. All right, let's look at the closings for a second. So I'm just going to pause the video. We're going to chat for a second. OK, so we've kind of done some of the different forms now. And what I want to do is turn around and, and do them with you, so to speak, uh, facing the other direction. So I'm going to not mirror you anymore, and I'm going to just do them with you. All right, so here we go. Hopefully you can see me here. I just want to make sure where I'm at. I might have to add a little to it. OK, so first I'm going to, that means I got to turn myself around, back around again. So first I'm going to step to the left. Inhale, reach up. And exhale. Bring this arm down and around, holding the ball. So I'm taking this foot, bringing it over to the right side. And then we're going to step to the left, bringing the arms back around, holding the ball on the other side, cat stance. And step to the right. Good. And then from there, we're going to step out, crossing the arms, pushing out with the hands, and then coming feet together. So that's the basic form for holding the ball. Let's go ahead and move on to um, parting the wild horse's mane. So here we go. We're going to step to the left side, inhale, and exhale. Good, and remember, you always come to holding the ball for your start position. And then we're gonna step out, heel first, come into it, and left hand comes up, right hand comes down. Remember to rock back a little bit, bring yourself in, and then come to holding the ball on the other side. Now step out, heel first, sink your weight into it, parting the wild horse's mane, Excellent. Rock back. Turn the body into it. And then, well, if you, if you have the form, actually all we need to do is take the, I believe it's going to be the left foot up and then out and then down. You can, re, you can check out the specifics as to the left foot, right foot, all that. But the main thing is that you do the form And then you finish, I believe it would be the left foot up, out, and down. Okay, we can work on all those opening and closings later, but you want to make sure to get the basic gist of it. All right, so let's move on to single whip, and I'm going to do it facing the other direction as well. Step out with the left foot, inhale, and exhale. Good, and then we're going to come to this side here. Holding the ball just like the other ones. We're in a reset position. And then this time, what you're going to do is you got your hook here with the right hand, bring that out, step straight out to the side, kind of whip into a thrust like so. And then you're going to rock the foot back, turn your body into it, hold the ball on the other side, step out with the right foot, 
heel first. Remember to make that hook and there's your thrust. You do want to step right out to the side. Can't quite see my hook there, but it's there. Good, and then you're pretty much going to step up with the left foot. It seems like at the end of these openings and you're going to start to get it, it'll, it'll repeat. Uh, it's not like it's going to be difficult to figure out after a while. But basically, you're just going to bring that left foot up, cross the arms, arms out, and feet together. So if you're not very good at the opening like I am so far, you are going to get it sooner or later because it's a repeat, repeat, repeat all the time. All right. So what I want to do is just go through all three of those again, all three forms facing the other direction, one at a time. Now that I've kind of explained it. All right. So let's start with holding the ball. We're going to step out. Inhale. Excellent. So that's how I do holding the ball. You might do it a little differently. It's okay. Now let's go ahead and move on to parting the horse's mane. So we're going to step out. Those left and right foots, they're definitely mixing me up, but I think you just always pick your left foot, um, move your left foot at the end on those openings and whatnot. All right, so what I'd like to do now is go ahead and, and uh, put them all together. So we're gonna put holding the ball, parting the wild horse's mane and single whip together. Okay, so this is kind of like the eight form, how it would turn out in the end. We're gonna do the first three parts, all right? So go ahead and step out with your left foot. I'm going to mirror you this time. Step out with your left foot. Inhale. And exhale. Then you go to the right side. The right hand's coming up. The left hand's coming underneath. Good. And then the other side. And switch one more time. And this is the set for parting the wild horse's mane. You're going to step out, remember heel, lean into it, wrists. Good, and then lean back a little bit, turn the weight in, and then we come to holding the ball on the other side. Step out with the left foot, or be your right foot now, parting the horse's mane. Good, and then you're just going to rock back, bring the weight in and then come to holding the ball on the other side. And that sets us up for the single whip. So we're gonna step out with that right foot. Here's that whip into a thrust and this hand just extends out. Good, and then rock back, turn the body in, get yourself reset for that holding the ball. And then we do the whip on the other side. Remember you're kind of whipping into a thrust here. This is just kind of pulling out into a hook. Step. And that would be where we're at on the form. The next step is that we'll go into moving hands like waving hands like clouds. Okay. So let's repeat that, mirroring you, and then I'll turn and face the other direction. You can you can check me out that way too. All right. So here we go. We go step to the left. Think about slowing it down and enjoying it now. Hopefully you're starting to get it.
and there you have it. That's where we're at the form at this point. We've done three moves, holding the ball, parting the wild horse's mane, and single whips. And that's all you got to practice for now. It's pretty much that simple. Let's go ahead and turn around. I'm going to face the other way. And so you can do it with me now. Let me see if I can get my focus in here. So now I'm going to shift gears and do it on the correct side. Um, make sure you got enough space. So here we go. Step out, inhale. I'm going to add the breathing here. It helps me. And exhale. Step your left foot to the right, right hand comes up. Other side. One more time. And then we're going to step out diagonally and at part the wild horse's mane, rock back, bring it in. Step out the other way. Rock back. Back to holding the ball. You're going to step out to the side. We almost said back as it is. Whipping that heel palm, having that hook extend out. And then rock back. Bring that foot in, holding the ball on the other side. Step out to the side, or you might think of it as back. And we got that whip into the heel palm, and then this extends out with the hook. Might want to step a little wider so I don't have my knee go past my toe. But that's it. Let's go ahead and try it one more time. Uh, I'm just going to go through it, and I'm not going to talk. And I'm just going to do it like I'm doing it on my own. And there you have it. So that's pretty much today's lesson. You know, you just keep going back and forth through those. You got three forms to practice, and then you put the three forms together. All right. Hopefully you're starting to get it. Uh, just keep practicing. It'll start to come into the body as time goes on.